This is a spot I've already fished today. In fact, I had four fish here this morning, so I decided to come back. I wasn't filming this morning because I wasn't actually planning to fish. I was down for some casting practice. I wanted to try some new casting techniques. I had a casting lesson with a good friend of mine, Rob Warrington, yesterday. Um, I wanted to learn the technique of double hauling. I've had some quite severe criticism of my casting on the channel and I've never actually pretended to be a great caster. My technique is awful, um, but I do tend to cast a long way and catch a lot of fish. But one of the comments on the channel was from a chap who, who noticed that I was doing everything with my shoulder and that could cause a lot of damage. And I do get that, I get a lot of shoulder fatigue. So I asked Rob to teach me double hauling to see if I could take some of the the effort out of casting. Learn how to cast with effortless power rather than powerful effort. So I had the lesson with Rob yesterday and I think I got the principles, but when I went down to try it fishing last night, it was absolutely awful. And it was because I couldn't get the muscle memory of how I used to fish out of my brain. There's way too much shoulder action in how I fish. You revert to type when you see fish in front of you, and that's what happened. So I came down this morning not to fish, just to try the technique. And what I found is I watched a couple of videos on YouTube and it really enforced the importance of keeping your, this right arm close to the body. And, and I just couldn't do it. So I've got a strap around my body that I put my arm through that keeps it tight. And if I do that, I've got the hang of double hauling because it stops me putting that powerful effort and I simply cannot do it. Now, I had four fish in here this morning, two rainbows and two brownies, one on a buzzer and the other was on Dalbax, black Dalbax. So I'm down trying the same techniques again. I thought it would be nice if I could actually get some of these fish on film um, with my new casting technique. I'm fishing a washing line with a booby on the point uh, a Dalback on the middle dropper and a Nemo on the top dropper. Hand goes through the strap. It's like fishing with a straight jacket on, but it does work. It stops me. I'm able to fish with the new cast. I'd catch fish with it as well. I thought it would take me weeks to be in that situation. I, I have to use the strap. It doesn't work if I don't use the strap. Now this morning I had fish taking on the static nymphs, but also when I pulled them back. So I'm starting off by fishing the nymphs static, and then when they've drifted a little bit in the water, well then I'll start bringing them round. I actually got a fish on the first cast with a fly this morning. I got so confident in my new casting technique that I thought I may as well try it with flies to see if it all falls apart once there are three flies on the line that can get entangled. And it didn't. As long as I kept it close, I didn't try to get too much distance, it seemed to work pretty well. There's a lot of fish in this, this bay, I know that for a fact. They've been here for weeks but I spotted quite a lot of brown trout in here this morning. I obviously caught two, but when I saw the fish heading and tailing, a few of them definitely looked like brown trout. The wind is more from the south this afternoon. It was more southeasterly this morning, and it was harder to cast. And that was one of the things that gave me confidence was, the wind wasn't 100% behind me, it was kind of cutting across and I was still able to throw a decent line out and cut it through the wind. Now with my old casting technique that wouldn't have happened. So we'll do the usual technique, we'll move down the bank a little bit. So we're continually fishing new water. Remember to put the arm through.
It's not perfect every time, but it's a lot better than it was. It's also nice to be able to see properly because I've got my normal glasses on today, not my very focal contact lenses, which are very hard work. I've got my proper very focals on and I've only had them for about three or four months now because it's a new prescription and it's nice to be able to see perfectly again. Which reminds me of a line in a film. I can see perfectly. This morning there was like a little take on every cast. I can see perfectly. The water's beautifully clear. I'm also not wading today because in this spot you can get into the deep water quite easily. And there's those hawthorns again. And they go back to the black nymphs. I'm going a little bit lower in the water. Definitely seeing fish about. I think I may change the point nymph and see if the fish are maybe a little bit down in the water. I'm also thinking about moving further up there towards the sunken trees where I caught that larger fish because there seems to be more ripple up there. Let's see if I can cast without the... the, the That wasn't as good. The cast wasn't as straight and true because I could feel my elbow starting to move. It gets too far away. Not as good as it was this morning. The casting that is. And neither is the fishing. <laughs> that fish rose literally right in front of my flies. The fish were nearly pulling my arm off this morning. Amazing how much it's changed. Ah, that was what I wanted. It's too much effort this afternoon way too much effort. It felt a lot smoother this morning. It's probably the pressure of the camera. Traps in the boat aren't catching either. There were. I've seen a couple of boats up here and most of them have been catching something. 
The last boat was fishing lures, they weren't getting anything. The boat I saw this morning was fishing more imitative stuff because they were fishing slower and they were getting fish. And that was right in front of me. Yeah. I just wonder if the fish are maybe lower in the water. And I need some kind of more nymph-like pattern on the point. That was exactly where I saw that fish. Right, so we know they're there. And we changed the buzzer, that's the only thing we've changed, so it might be that they're, they're favouring the buzzer. Well, that's the first take this afternoon. And I've got exactly the same three flies that I had on this morning. The nymph and one on the, the buzzer. So this is number five today. And my net, where's my net? Oh, it's there. Again, cardinal sin, that net should have been in the water. I just wonder what, the, the fish just must be off and on the take. The, I don't know what's going on underneath the surface of the water, but there's... It's another brownie! It's the fourth brown trout I've had in the last three days. There must have been a stop show oh, of brownies here. All of the brown trout have taken the nymph. Oh, that's a lovely fish. Really nice colours. Really. Oh, I'm not going to my waders on, you idiots. <laughs> I'm so used to fishing my waders on, I just knelt down. Anyway, let's get it back. <laughs> that's going. Swimming, swimming away nicely. I've got a wet knee. <laughs> it took the black nymph. This little black doll back. That's what's called muscle memory. Whenever I catch a fish, I kneel down. So let's pop another one of them on. If that's the fly that's been consistently taking, then I'm going to replace the buzzer with another one with those nymphs. It was buzzers, but now it's nymphs. They do seem to want it inched past though. I mean, that was the definite lesson there. I started inching it a little bit faster than I had been. And then the fish started showing notice. I said earlier I was convinced there was a lot of brown trout in here and I've been proved right. You can just see the slight difference in the coloration on their backs. Now that one took quite close in as well. I don't know whether it followed me in. They're just sitting close in but not rising there. And it's felt right.
Now that was better. That was the best cast of this afternoon. And I didn't need the strap. So I can't do it. And the flies presented perfectly at the far at the end of the cast. I see perfectly. <laughs>